here's a lovely little method feeder tip for you guys. Now, when you're fishing a method feeder, quite often we think about big target baits. We put the micros around our feeder, then we put on a big pellet on the, on the hair or in the band, and we think the fish is going to come around, suck in those micros, see our big target bait, and take that one in preference to our micros. You know what? I just don't think it happens like that. I think the fish are actually coming to the feeder because they want the micro pellets a lot of the time. So, I've got with me today, and I'm actually loose feeding these pellets, I've got some nice hard cater pellets, and they're a six mil pellet, and you know what? That's what I started putting in the band today, and I think that's a great starting point. But, I'm using two mil swim stims as my feed, and I just think the fish, I'm not hooking them properly on the six mil when I do get a bite, I'm getting loads of indications, which shows, shows me that they just want those micros and they're ignoring my six mil. So what I've done, and it's working brilliantly, is I've switched to a four mil. Now we're not talking, this isn't winter, winter fishing. We're talking warm weather, warm water, catching a lot of fish. So I've switched to a four mil in the band. We've still got a reasonable size hook. We've got a size 16 on. We've got our two inch hook length, so we can hook the fish nice and effectively. Our gripper feeder, which is obviously a great feeder for chucking up against the far bank. And with that four mil in the band, you notice that I've rammed that bait in the feeder. I don't want any of that first layer to come out. I've got that many fish over there that I want to make sure I've got some pellets near my hook bait at all times. With that four mil in the band, the fish, it, it's sort of matching the hatch. Those fish, they're going to come around, snuffle all them micros, suck all them micros up, and I think that four mil is going to get taken in preference to a bigger pellet. It's certainly working today. I'm going to show you how fast the bites are because when I've been casting in, it has been absolutely brilliant. So we're casting obviously towards the far side. We have been loose feeding a few pellets, but I just don't know if it's necessary now. We've been feeding a few pellets over there. You can see indications all the time. We've caught F1s, we've caught carp. There's loads, there we go. That didn't take long, did it? Like a fish, it's literally that fast the fish it is. And that is because we've switched to a bait that the fish are actually eating. You know, they're coming into the swim for those micros. And then earlier on, I was putting a sixman on the hook. You know, it's just, it just doesn't seem right to me. Now, this isn't a very big fish, but we're catching a fish every single cast, which I, I always say you can never argue with a, a fish every single cast. And for sure, turning point for us today is switching to that four mil instead of the six mil i mean that's a, that's a probably a, one of the one of the smaller fish we've, we've got a net in today just for a cat picture later on but we won't bother putting him in the net Let's see if we can replicate that so you see there pellets still in the feeder you know there's loads of fish over there i want to keep as much bait around my hook bait as possible. I just want some bait around my hook bait. And I know that with all those fish flapping around my method feeder, my hook bait is probably all over the place. So I'm not gonna create that perfect parcel that we always try and create, maybe on bigger waters where there's fewer fish. So nice hard layer of bait. You can notice there, I'm hardly putting any bait on the feeder. It's not even half filled. We're just putting a little tiny skim of bait on the feeder. Took over. We're trying to get that fast bite all the time. We're trying to increase our increase our weight and the, the amount of fish that we're catching. We want to do that quickly. You know, it's these sort of decisions that during a match. These, this is the, these are the key decisions. So I know that if I was to sit here and put an eight mil or a six mil in that band and carry on fishing for the rest of the day, okay, I'd get a few indications and I'd catch an odd fish. But this four mil has just, just transformed it. You can see how many fish are there. There's no need to, to feed any more bait over the top now with the cast ball. It's all about catching the fish now. Now, if I was to stop getting these line bites, then I'll probably pick up the catapult and feed a bit of bait over the top, but it's not about that now, it's about catching these fish, and I think the method feed is a 
perfect trap. There we go. Method feed is a perfect trap to actually catch a fish when it comes into your swim. Another little fish. Like I say, put your fish in your net all the time. A really soft rod, a little knife foot rod. A lot of these fish are these little ones pinged off just when you go to net them. And I just think a soft rod keeps a few on. So there we go, two fish in two drops. Admittedly, not the two biggest fish of the day, probably in actual fact, probably the two smallest fish of the day. But it just shows that matching your hatch with your hook bait when you method feed off, quite often the way to go. Until next time, folks, tight lines.